everyone. Welcome to Adult Coaching. This is Krishna Kant Singh Mundela, and in Macroeconomics, Classical versus Keynes English. This is part eight, in which we are going to study about what is multiplier effect. This is a dubbed video from the Hindi one which I made earlier, so it might be a little disturbing, but it's okay to understand and clear in sound. A note is there. It is an episodic explanation, so please, if you want to get complete benefit, please see the videos from part one. Now, what this multiplier is? Suppose. income which is also known as national income and one form is also known as gdp now suppose government invests suppose it did investment of about 200 crore means investment is going on but now the extra 200 is being done so it will directly affect the income of people and this income will increase because people will have money now when income will be increased then market will have this 200 crores extra and our national income will also be increased by 200 crores means our gdp is also being increased by 200 crore okay so up to here the thing is clear okay means 200 crore is being invested by government and our gdp is also grown by 200 crore when people will have this 200 crores there will be two uses of it either they will consume or either they will save there could be some kind of proportion into which they will be consuming and saving when consumption is being done then the money will come in market okay and when the money will come in market what happens our gdp will grow more means means after that 200 crore also this consumption increases gdp further suppose from this 200 crores about 50% is being consumed then these 100 crores will be an additional increase in our gdp that means from 200 plus 100 it will be now 300 crores so now our gdp has been increased by 100 crores 200 plus 100 that is now it is of 300 crores okay here you might be having some confusion that government has put only 200 crores how it could be now 300 actually that 200 crores are being injected in form of income okay so people are having that kind of income now when they are consuming they are giving that money out in the market and market will be earning people in the market are earning that is the income of those people who are selling products so that will be also counted in the gdp now let us understand it more clearly suppose this is a market okay and you are having much money in it suppose this 300 crores comes into the market okay that will be invested in lot of things for example people will be investing in vegetables consuming vegetables suppose 100 crores suppose they are buying bikes for 50 crores doing expenditure in cinema and entertainment about 50 crore rupees and in luxuries in cars and anything other about 100 crores means these 300 crores are being invested in all these things okay now this entire money will be coming in the market economy only how why because the money you have expended is being earned by the owner of the car or the owner of the entertainment industry or the owner of the bike or the owner of the vegetables they are selling their products and they are earning this kind of money so that will be also counted in market economy and is consuming only 50% out of it what they are earning then that money will come in the market also now this 50% will be about 150 crores that means from that 200 crores 150 is again being added to the economy that means now our economy is 300 plus 150 crores and that is 450 crores our economy is been increased multiplied means that 200 crore is now being converted into 450 crores and again slowly it will be increasing will it be there any limit for it yes there is a limit and that limit is known as multiplier and multiplier is that limit to which governments this money will be increased and it depends upon the propensity to save or the propensity to consume now suppose government injects 100 crores into the market what happens 
it converts into 300 crores. What does it mean? It means multiplier is 3, 3 times. If government injects 100 crores and it becomes 400, that means multiplier is 4, 4 times. Also, you might be having a doubt that how this money has been increased because that money which was being injected by government is being rotating into the market only how the GDP is increased. Uh, let us understand with this example that if suppose your father gives you 10 rupees, he might be getting a salary of 100 rupees from government and he is giving 10 rupees to you. So what will be happening next? You are taking that 10 rupees as your own income and now the entire income of government is 110 rupees because you are earning 10 and your father is earning 100. Now when you take that 10 rupees to a shopkeeper and purchase an ice cream or a product and gives that 10 rupees to shopkeeper then the earning of shopkeeper is 10 rupees. Now 100 plus 10 plus 10 now it is 120 rupees. That means the income is being multiplied the same amount which is being given by the government in terms of salary to your father is being now a source of income to you and to that shopkeeper. So that money is not rotating, it is multiplying. The income of people with that sort of money is being multiplied. Now, if government did investment I, suppose the investment is del I, okay? Earlier it was I and now it has been increased by del I, okay? And why is the income of people earlier? Now it has been increased by del Y. So multiplier means K equal to del Y upon del I where K stands for multiplier. Means change in income upon change in investment is known as multiplier in terms of formula. Suppose government has injected 100 crores and it is turned out to 300 crores. That means it will be 300 upon 100. That means it is K equal to 3. That means it is being increased by 3 times. So how this government knows that what would be the increment into the income when they will inject the money into the market? What will be the multiplier? 1 time, 2 time, 3 time. How they know that? By this formula. When they did it, earlier now they are very much confident that the multiplier effect of their economy is about three times or four times or five times and according to that they inject the money into the market suppose they know they want to make a 500 crores of increase in the gdp they will inject 100 crores if the multiplier is five or the five times now the question is on which this k is depending so for that you have to understand the relationship between the multiplier and MPC. MPC is market propensity to consume and market propensity to save when being added it gives 1. How you know that it is 1? Uh, for that you have to see my video that is propensity to consume and save. But in short I will explain it here also suppose 80 rupees is being consumed by you when 100 is your income and you are saving 20 rupees when the income is 100 okay and when you total it it will come 1 that means 1 minus MPC is MPS so now when market propensity to consume is being increased means people are spending lot then the that spending will become the income of other people and that other people will be spending in the same manner because marginal propensity to consume is more that means that will increase the multiplier also. Means by this we can understand that marginal propensity to consume can be a reason for multiplier to be 2 times, 3 times, or 4 times or how many times. But if marginal propensity to save is increasing then multiplier will decrease. That will be 1 by 4, 1 by 2, 1 by 8. That means multiplier is directly proportional to marginal propensity to consume. If consumption is being increased, multiplier will increase and inversely proportional to marginal propensity to save that means if savings are being increased, multiplier will decrease. So if K is multiplier, 1 upon MPS or 1 upon 1 minus MPC, we can write it like that. We can understand this more clearly as such, 1 upon 1 
and minus. For MPC, we can write change in consumption upon change in income. Okay. This is the real formula of multiplier. Means with this formula, you can make it out what is the original multiplier of n upon me by knowing the consumption, change in consumption, change in income and putting those values into this equation. Here you can make it out what the multiplier is. Now let us understand this with our graph. This is a line which is income y equal to c plus s consumption plus saving and this line is resembling consumption. Now suppose the consumption is being increased by some investment so it is c plus i okay and when it is cutting this line yellow line of income at e1 and we draw a vertical line from here then this is the income level which is denoted by y1 at this income this is the consumption level okay and from here if government is increasing the investment a little bit suppose del i then it is now c plus i plus del i means this new point e2 2 y2 is the new income means what happened with this small investment this much of income is being increased that is being multiplied. A small investment is being multiplied to become much more income. It clears that with a small amount of investment by government that could be multiplying the income and the GDP. This is known as multiplier effect which was being discussed by Keynes also. That's it. Thank you. Mm -hmm.